Hi, I want to show you how we can graph conic sections on GeoGebra. So let me open this, and here is the place that we are going to enter the equations. And let me just enter a circle. x squared plus y squared is equal to 3 squared. So a circle centered at 0, 0 with a radius 3. So, and compared with the usual calculator, let's say a TI 83, you will have to isolate the y first, but not in this case. All you need to do is just like enter x squared plus y squared. It's equal to 3 squared, I can just enter 9, and hit enter, then you can get a circle, okay? And if you double click on the circle, you can go to object property, you can make this circle in red, for example, go to color, and you can make this in red, okay? You can in red, and it's, you can also do the fielding or things like that. But then, based on the equation that we have, x squared plus y squared is equal to 9, we have a solid circle like this, no filling, okay? Sometimes you may have to do the filling, that's when you have inequalities. So what you do is, come here, double click on the equation, let me just change this to, let's say, greater than. And what you should get is, it should help you to color the outside, right? x squared plus y squared is greater than 9, you should get the region that's on the outside of the circle. But then if you hit enter, although it changed the, it changed the curve to you, it changed from a solid curve to a dash curve, but then it hasn't done the fielding for you. So you come back to uh, preference. And right here, this is the place where you are going to adjust the fielding. So as you can see, this is, I want to select the color, I mean the circle. I want to change this and you see here is the fielding. And depends on you, maybe let's say about like 50%, it's a good amount of shading. So you can see a pretty uh, good contrast between uh, the shading part and the non-shading part. And you can come back here and then do, let's say, less than, then you see a circle floating inside with this inequality, and technically still dashed lines around the circle. You can go to style, and you can make the line, the curve thicker, like this, okay? But then sometimes you have to graph inequality such as like x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 9. So what you do is change the, uh, the formula again. So come back here. I want to do less than or equal to 9. So we have a less than already. I just need to have a less, I mean, I have to have a equal to after the less than sign. And hit enter. And as you can see, this will be a solid circle fielding inside. This is it. And of course, you can grab like other conic sections if you like. Let's say x squared minus 4xy plus y squared is equal to 1, for example. Then you can get like a hyperbola. Okay. Um, I think this is it. And then you can ask me questions and you know, leave a comment. And let me know if there's anything that you would like to know um, on what we can do on GeoGebra. And as you can see, this is a pretty cool picture. And then you just totally save a picture and also a GeoGebra file every single time so that you have a template. So then let me just demonstrate save. I want to save this as like a conic. And you see that I have a GeoGebra files folder. So I collect all my uh, GeoGebra files. So then next time if I have to do something similar, I can just go back to the, the, the file that I already have and then just modify it. So this is it. Okay.